The great thing about traveling in a van or any overlanding vehicle is the ability to truly visit off the beaten path places. We've been traveling in our tiny house on wheels for four years now, and one whole year of that was in Mexico. Now, Mexico is an incredibly diverse country filled with unlimited things to see and do. But I'm gonna share with you five of our favorite off the beaten path places to visit with a camper van right now in this list. So let's go. Number one, the Monarch Butterfly Sanctuary at Sierra Chinchua in the state of Michoacan. Now every winter, millions, literally tens to 15 million monarch butterflies migrate down from Canada and the Northern United States to the specific forested area of Michoacan, Mexico. And the government of Mexico has protected this area with several reservas. You can visit any of them. We chose the Chinchua Reserva because you were allowed to camp overnight there in your camper van in the parking lot which means you get an early start on the windy, curvy, very steep hike up to the top, close to a level of 10,000 feet, where you will see millions of monarch butterflies huddled up on trees. It's one of the most amazing things we've seen. If you go when the weather is warmer from January to March, then the butterflies will be fluttering around and flying a little bit. It is truly an epic adventure. And when you hike back down, there will be other tourists around, but most of them are hopping on their tour bus and making the four to five hour drive back to a city where there's a hotel because they don't have their tiny house on wheels right there with them. Number two, it's actually a little town, the entire town, Homun, Yucatan. Now you go here and there are going to be motorbikes driving around, little three-wheelers where you'd hop in the back and you're going to just flag one down and you're going to tell them you want a tour of the cenotes. What is really incredible about the town of Homun is the number of cenotes that are here. And these aren't really close to the high touristy trafficked places like Cancun. So there are not gonna be tons of people there. You're gonna flag down one of these motorbikes. You're gonna work out a price for the tour. You're gonna hop on the back of this thing. And then he's gonna take you to three, four, five, maybe six or seven, however many cenotes you want to visit in one day. And these cenotes are beautiful and they're all different and some are mom and pop owned and some are more commercialized, but it is a day you will remember forever. Now, if you look at this one spot I'm putting on the map here, you can find this place on iOverlander. You can camp in this guy's yard and he will arrange the motorbike tour for you. That's what we did. Number three, Tolentongo in the state of Hidalgo maybe seven or eight hours north of Mexico City. A windy, beautiful mountain road to get there and truly not just one of my favorite places to visit in a camper van in Mexico, but one of my favorite places to visit, period, anywhere in the world. This is a hot springs, river, cave, waterfall, all tied up in one. You can sit in hot tubs on the side of a cliff and overlook the most magnificent valley. It is still ran and operated and under the control of the local indigenous people, which gives it a whole nother flair of culture. The river is a majestic blue that is unexplainable unless you are there. You can camp in the parking lot and it is perfect. It is somewhere that you must go if you travel by van in Mexico. Number four, there are lots of ruins all over Mexico. Most of them are very crowded and full of tourists and tourist busts are lined up, but there is one that you cannot drive to. You must go to this small little town. You can camp at this hotel that I'm showing on the map right now, and they will arrange the tour for you. You walk right out back and you get in a boat and you drive about 45 minutes up the river and you land at the most beautiful ruins in the middle of a jungle that I've ever seen. Monkeys swinging overhead and 
yes, there's going to be people there because it's ruins and ruins are famous, but it is not going to be incredibly crowded. And you get the added benefit of a beautiful boat ride to get there. You're going to walk through the jungles. You're going to walk on these ruins. They're not roped off, so you have to show respect for the stuff, but you are allowed to walk in and amongst these amazing Mayan ruins in Chiapas, Mexico. Now, I'm not going to try to say it. I'm going to put the name on the screen, but it's somewhere you need to go if you're traveling in Mexico by a van. Number five, the Gray Whale Sanctuary in Puerto Adolfo. Now, there are several places throughout the Baja in Mexico that you can go and see the gray whales. We did it on a few different occasions. This is where we had the best experience and got more up close and personal with the whales. Plus, you are allowed to camp overnight in the parking lot of the place where you will arrange the tour, which is right on the water. You're gonna get on a boat, you're gonna drive out into this bay where the gray whales come every year to have their babies. And as their babies start to get a little older, not when they're tiny and brand new, but when they start to get a little older, everyone starts to get a little playful, including the moms. And you go out there in these boats and these whales will come up to the boat and want to interact with you you will literally be able to reach down in the water and touch a gray whale because she wants you to touch her. And they do a great job of not chasing the whales and it's not a thing that's bad for the whales. The whales enjoy interacting with the humans here and it is a once in a lifetime experience that is super easy to do in your van. So those are my five favorite off the beaten path places to visit in Mexico. Hope you enjoyed this video and hope to see you out on the road.